I just wanted to do an update video on my current workstation. This is my Creality CR10. This is the original uh, 300 by 300 by 400 print area. And I just want to show you the printer itself, the area I work at, and some of the updates I've done for it. So, you know, of course, first thing anybody ever but does is these uh, adjuster wheels for the bed. And I've added auto bed leveling. So now that I've done that, you adjust these one time and you never touch them again. Uh, the auto bed leveler does the rest. And what it does is it, it probes 16 points on the bed for the height. So if there's a warp to the bed, then the printer automatically raises and lowers to keep the correct distance as it prints along there. So um, slight warping, it totally handles. I, I would imagine it would handle a decent amount of warping, but if it gets warped too bad, I'd just replace the mirror. So that's the other update as I've done the Home Depot mirrors. Um, love that, it works fantastic. This is TPU. I don't put glue down or anything for TPU, it just stays put. Uh, PLA, ABS, I haven't gotten to work yet because I don't have an enclosure. But anyways, um, I will use glue if necessary and there are times I will if I have uh, not a lot of contact area on the part or something like that. I got my little files, flashlight, measuring tape, my little uh, hazardous waste cups. Let's show that for you. To hold my tools. So I got things in there I use regular. A uh, piece of paper and my Windex that I clean the bed every time before a print and then I just don't have any failures. Um, this is the little clip-on USB LED light. It's plugged in right now, it charges and then you can unplug it and it'll run for, I don't know, three or four hours without being plugged in. So it's uh, soft touch. Touch it there, it turns on different brightnesses, got three levels of brightness. I uh, love that little light. Okay, so I've added the Fang. That works quite well. I've added the extruder cover and the wheel here. Um, and as it prints, that wheel will spin. You'll see it spinning so you know everything's working in there. I've added the wheel on top here to raise and lower the print head. crank it back and forth. Love that. Got these little clips that I printed for the cords here to hold them in place. I've added this 12 inch bungee cord. It's just a real lightweight bungee cord but it keeps the uh, it keeps all this stuff from falling down onto the print. Sometimes at specific levels it would fall down on the print. Um, the other thing I've added is under here the... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get down there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but up under there, there's these little spacers that go between the springs and the print bed. Let me turn off the light here. There you can see it, that orange up there. And what that does is it prevents the springs from scratching into the print bed and causing a short on the heated bed. Turn the light back on. Okay, so what have I missed? Uh, of course, the uh, electrical support there that holds the the cable from from moving around and getting broken back here I've got this little device that as the print bed moves back and forth the cables here let's see I'll move the bed the cable goes there and it doesn't get hooked on the frame there as it comes back right there it glides nice and smooth across that it also doesn't wear it out very very easily so we'll look at the cover and the wheel there um, let's see what else. I've got our little tool holder here. These are just the stock tools. That's how I like to keep them in place. Um, the rest of the stock tools are in this cup here. And I, I designed and printed this insert here that holds each of these tools in place. I'm going to design another insert for that cup holder that will hold my scissors, my knife, a pen, and my gauge here. Um, let's see. Okay, so I guess that's a pretty good look at the parts I've done to it, the updates I've done to it. So now let's go ahead and show you how the uh, starting and ending scripts work. 
So I will go in here. I oh, I did not preheat it. That's a bummer. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pause the video for that part. So I'm going to go ahead and just print a two by or two and a half by two and a half by one millimeter cube. This will go real fast. But what it's going to do is going to show you the um, starting and ending scripts that I've added. I'll show you how they work. So basically, what the start and end scripts are going to do is first thing it'll do is auto bed level. So it's going to level the bed, um, you know, run through that script. Then it's going to purge the print head. So it's going to come over to this corner and it's going to lay down a, a strip of plastic there and back. And if there's any air bubbles in the line, that gets rid of them. And it, I have it, it's like a 200 millimeter line, both directions. Um, oftentimes, it's still blowing air by the time it gets to the backside and then it starts printing coming back. So sometimes it does take that long to get all the air out and that's why I've left it that long. You could shorten it up if you'd like. I have found it to be very beneficial to leave it like that. So it, it prints and purges the head and then it lifts and cleans off the head. So it does a little wipe here and then it comes out and starts the print. Now when the print is finished, um, it's going to move the bed back to this position you see here. So it's gonna push the bed out instead of like normal, it normally goes to the back. I have it push out so that my part is sitting right here ready for me to pull off. Um, and then after it's done doing that, it plays a song to let you know that the print is done and that's it. So I'll be back as soon as uh, the heating has happened. just finishing up heating up. Sorry about the noise. I have not changed the fans in my printer yet, so it's quite loud. Uh, let me move this light out of the way a little bit. I love the light because it is flexible. You put it wherever you want. Um, as you can see, I've got a glob of plastic coming out here. It's TPU, so it tends to drain out quite a bit. So it's going to go ahead and level the bed real quick so it's going to home the position and then mine homes in the middle because of the auto bed leveling now it's finding uh the level it's leveling the bed it's going to check these 16 points that way if there's any warping in the bed it lifts or lowers to compensate for that now it is leaving little tiny specks of plastic on the bed there. Normally I would peel those off as they go. Um, right now I'm not gonna worry about it because the, the box I'm printing is super tiny. It's gonna print really fast. But as that's going, you can see how the bungee cord works. It just follows along. Sometimes when it's dragging back and forth really far, the top will just slide back and forth inside the groove because I just have it uh, tucked inside the groove in the back of the metal there. So they just leveled the bed, now it's going to purge the print head. So it's gonna lay down a 200 millimeter line. As you can see, there's air right now. So if that had been my print, that would be no material coming out during my print. Now it's starting to lay down material back there. I don't know if you can see it yet. Show it to you here, there you go. There's the line it printed. Now it's out there doing the print. There's a very quick print. Oh, and there you can see the, uh, the wheel turning when it's feeding material. I like that, it gives you a real quick visual clue if it's all working quite, working right, sorry. The print had just finished, it's a little tiny one. That's gonna go back, and it throws the bed out for me so the part comes off easy and then plays a song. And that's it, completion of a print. All right guys, thanks for coming along.